Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 41 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. Like in, all, like in all the videos in this series, I'm going to read it over. I want you to visualize the problem itself and we'll pull out the math together and solve it. All right, number 41. Abby drives 18 miles round trip between home and work each day. If her daily routine round trip is rounded to the nearest five miles, which of the following is the best estimate of the total number of miles driven in five days? And then we have some options. Now read it to yourself. Read it to yourself and then visualize the situation that they describe. Sometimes it helps uh, to uh, pick out key words, key ideas, but first visualize it. Once you visualize it, you go back in the problem, you look for key ideas, key words, like, like this word round, <laughs> round. <laughs> and rounded. Wow. Those are all called clues and those are very obvious clues. But this is this is a problem which is going to involve rounding and we're going to be doing estimating. We're going to be uh, looking at the distance that she goes and estimating it by rounding it to the, the closest fifth day. Is that right? Do you see that? You see how they structured it with the language? They're giving you all those clues. So, so now I might draw a picture to help me out. I see that she, she does this trip, a round trip, so I'll draw a big round circle, and it gets 18 miles. And it says that her, um, if you rounded it, um, her daily round trip to the nearest fifth mile, right? So that would be, what would be the nearest fifth mile? Well, you have a choice. If you're rounding it to the, every five miles, you could go to mile 15, or mile 20 and I think we'd all agree that 18 is closer to 20 so each day is really rounded to 20 miles and she does five days so there's gonna be a, a multiplication there and then we get a an estimate of around a hundred miles now what did I do with that problem well I, I talked myself through the problem I identified some of those major themes that were doing some rounding and estimating I drew a picture to sort of organize the work. And then by doing all that, I, find, I, I, I can get to the 20 miles estimate, uh, rounded up to the 20 miles fast, see that it's times five and get to the 100, you know, pretty quickly. So that process that I go through helps me get to the answer of B. All right, and this is a nice problem uh, to practice some of those strategies. Okay team, I hope you found this helpful. The answer in fact is B. It's gonna take a, it's, it's roughly 100 miles if she rounds each of her uh, daily trips up to the nearest five to get to the 20 times five to get to the 100. Okay, all right, have a wonderful day team. Take care.